Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. And we've got some work to do here today, so last episode we bought the farm. Big investment and required a 475 grand down. Obviously we need to pay it off, so one thing we're going to be doing is quickly get this field seeded with field beans. Got a seeder over there. We've got a worker taking our equipment over to, I think it's 128, yeah 128 is taking it too. So we'll get that done at some point, however the priority at the moment right now is getting the seeding done. And the reason why we're going with field beans because apparently they're quite profitable now, so that's why we're doing field beans. Even though we've got field beans in our grassland field area by the green mill, also we've got 45, that's field beans. 57 is the seed, and 59 and 109 is rapeseed, i.e. canola. I will refer to it as rapeseed, but in terms in terms it is canola. Or not we can get any oil out of it, I'm not sure. Because it involves productions and all that, and at the moment we should have the money for productions at the moment. So we go and there it is. But yeah, it's our brand new cedar, we've got second hand, but it's brand new to us. And I think we should be fine with having not to refill it up. Worst case scenario, we do have the planter. And we can grab stuff from that, but I don't think it's going to be needed. So yeah, I think first of all we'll do is to head and and then we'll go up and down as best as we can. It's not the most straight as it feels, but it's a field nonetheless. And that's what we need at the moment is just farmland, more farmland. Perhaps I could say 300 grand on getting some more plots of land. That's a definite debate there for sure. Let's just whack on these lights. Yeah, gonna be working into the darkness, I think. There we go. Try to get as much as we can as close as to the head hedgerows. There we go, I think that's just fine enough. Also mind the telephone poles. But yeah, also we need to get these contract works done as well, especially that size contract. I'm thinking just heck it, do it, but of course that means we need a beater in that. Got everything, just not a beater in that, so yeah on that front I've got some ideas. We do have some options for us in store which we'll have a look. Actually let's get this bit here done, once we're on the straight down we can have a little look. Also what we can do so after this we can fertilize this. Maybe do some preemptive wheat spraying. But that's if we can get all this done, including rolling it in. So I think it needs rolling right. Yeah, it needs to be rolled into the ground. Even we rolled it initially to get the smooth texture on the ground to make it work to create our seed bed. Still need to do the roll in that needs to be done today. So yeah, let's go and have a little look here. Second so sort. Turn this off. And there is some options for us, so one is this, so we can go with the Deutz Fire or the Coop. Coon FB three three five. On um, let's go back to that. So where is it to? So this one here. So fifty two grand. Can have new decals. 
different attacher types. Of course, we can have the wrapper attacher. So we can pretty much wrap and bell at once and even have the size additive. Where is that located to? Is that the back? Can't really see where that is. So overall that is 74 grand. However, another option that may be slightly better for us is the Cabecoon pack. Ooh, I think it's the money though. That'd be nice, like having the Heston Bader. Of course, we could change a few things tracks, tires. Uh, yeah, I have all sorts of colouring. So, have a look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, with this one, we can have a bell wrapper or a trailer attached to the back. So, let's try and see how this all goes together, I think. Ah, I see there, so that's the extra bit there. And that hooks onto it. Different hitch types. I'd love to have that, but it's just so damn expensive. And even leasing it as well, it's gonna push the cost up a bit. So I think if we just go back down to Baders, Got 139 grand. So yeah, of course we can always lease and that. That is the option there. But I want to have something for us because things like uh what's it? Straw now. Bell straw. We need that for the bedding for TMR. Go with a uni wrap. A quadrant beater would be better I think personally because then we can get that 153 grand and how much is the wrapper though 54 grand I can do a mixture of bell types uh, tough choices but I think you know what let's take a gamble so we'll need I think we'll go with one of these. Just looking at horsepower requirements, all the same. 7 or 8, 6.7 tons for these two. So I think we can go with the Ponder. But again, that looks better. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, we could do that. Only difference is that can do the bigger bells. That can do 180 centimeter bells. So things like the hay and that. That's ideal. Or even if we just want grass bells for sheeping that. I know what heck it will save some money. Go with that. Go with the fence. Four color. Let's go with a bit of a blue. Good thing you found that collectible in the end of that episode. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Missed a little bit back there. There we go. So the worker. Oh, you know what? We'll take it over ourselves as well. So, you know what? We'll leave that there. We 
yeah, so anyways, we will continue on this. Get us all done, get rolled, and then we'll start looking at doing some of these contracts. There we go, so that is the seeding and rolling done. Just in time I have to start to lose the light. However, we need to get these contracts done today, so we're gonna be doing the late shift here. Well I guess they do need to be done today, but we can set to them today, so for once we'll do the late shift in that. I think you know working this beautiful sunset is absolutely stunning and beautiful. So we're actually Mowing 69. Nice. That's a nice field to work on. But we've got permission from Mr. Otega to use this field for plot for field 68 as a little station area. And basically, what my plan is going to be is we'll do 69 first of all, then we'll drive up the lane because there is some narrow lanes, cross past the castle, and we'll do 128. And then once we're all done, we're going to have bells on here, or do we do the bells afterwards? Hmm. I think we put the bells on, and then we'll take everything back over here, down to 23, so pretty much it's going to be up the lane, past 8388, cross the bridge, back down, past our old yards, up here, down here, and then we've just got to find an access point for kids. Go down, and I think there's a, a lane here, past a yard area, so we can do 22, 23. Obviously our contract's on 23. So our contract's... Well, there's 78. Which is... Where 78 to? literally across, um, just over there in that corner over there, so... Unless we sell the bells, that's where they got to go to... Oh, nice, it's actually just around the corner from here, so... Yeah, we'll figure it out. I think we'll just do all of them, collect the bells, sell what we need to sell, and then we'll do 78. Obviously, I want to get this all done, hopefully today. 78, we're going to leave. I haven't accepted that contract yet. There we go, so open that back up. So yeah, I've got to do these three contracts. Oof. But yeah, the 
alleys are like super narrow. Oh. Just wanted to hit that fencing post. Why are we hitting? We're not hitting there. Maybe hitting here, perhaps. Uh, I think it's actually the hedgerow itself we're hitting, so. Fair enough. There we go, a tight maneuver. And that's the thing working around here. It is. I shall go outside outside the. For this, just because of the visibility, obviously, the screen is a bit murky in that in there, so. So it's, getting, it's all unfolded. And then we'll do these contracts. Yeah, working in the night ain't really ideal, especially for like recording and all that stuff, but it needs to be done, we accept these contracts today, so I'll get these done today. And then tomorrow we can do that size contract, because yes, we've got our own farm now, but as I said in the last episode, the contracts continue. Especially where we need the money in that at the moment. Definitely need some cash in at the moment. So yeah, we've got 52 grand, but no real expenses coming up. But I want to have a little overhead of cash. And again, these eight contracts, these will help us. Obviously, we're not going to sell these bells, we're going to keep them. And they're going to be specifically for the sheep. And the cows, if we make our own TMR, but then again, we need straw and that, and all that other stuff, so... How's that going to work out? I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So we're yeah, just doing the head in, as always. Mind is bloody damn tree. Rushing through the hedgerow there. But scratch the paperwork up even more. And that is half the field apparently completed already. So yeah, these ain't going to take us too long. I think if we finish off by midnight, I think that'd be a good finishing point, but... Also, what is... Just looking at the prices for size in that when we do the size contract. Is it worth trying to squeeze it in today, or do it tomorrow? Well, try to squeeze it in today, but we're going to get 33 done, because 33 is a huge field. But yeah, so anyways, I will get these contracts out. We'll do them off camera, see me mow many times before and all that. And there's going to be plenty of options ahead to watch me make hay bells. For when we get our own grass fields, because that's going to be one thing as well, is... By the end of the year, I want to pay... At least a quarter of the loan off. So obviously remember, we got to pay 10% interest in the first year. And then it's going up 5% afterwards. It's, in fairness, it's, it is a crap deal in that. Especially with 10% in that, but... I'm uh, guessing... Maybe it's the local economy, I don't know. Intra interest rates, like normally itself, has gone up. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's the time to be living in that. Last thing, if we can pay most of it off by this time next year, I was aiming for a half. But then again, there's things like equipment. Do we need more equipment? Will the equipment break down and we need replacing? That's the thing. You don't know. And that is this field done, just going around, getting little extra bits and that. And I think we'll drive up, do 68, no, 128. And then we will get all tethered. And then we'll do up the bells tomorrow, I think. I think they're going to be a fine year for now. But yeah, as I said, we'll do these off camera. And then we'll 
pretty much resume tomorrow morning. Ah, what a beautiful morning it is. So yeah, early start for us, so we need to, what is it, sell the bells. I managed to get it all done last night, so now what we need to do is head into the pickup and head over to field 23, set the tractor, and then we'll go and sell the bells that we need to to the sell point, and the rest we'll keep for ourselves. Also, I had a look, and there are some more contracts that's popped up, so we have a little look. So I've got a size contract, but we've got three more telling contracts, so what 78 we're going to do next. That, all of our equipment's over there already, and then we'll do 25 and 31. Fortunately, it's a bit of a leap across again. 25 is where our equipment is, by 20 from the left, and 31 is down south west corner, or south east, shall we freeze that? So yeah, a bit of a journey, but I think what we can do is when we get to 31, not sure if there's a cut through, feels like 1, 2, and 3 in that. But if we'll just go up and around by 16 and 93. Get on the rest of the roads. But yeah, we'll head over there, grab everything, and then we'll take it over to the cell point. There we go, just up to the lane here. Which is where we've left the equipment, so... I think we got 10 bells at, about 12 or so bells. Well no, more than that. Completely forgot, so... we got 3, 6... 12, 13 bells. Six and a half thousand years, so that is one hundred and twenty three thousand and five hundred bells. So I think if we I don't know half of this it'll take. The rest will keep. And I think if we do these other hay contracts, get the hay from them, and again, keep what we need to for ourselves, sell the rest over off the side we do that contract. Trees there. Mine that pile. There we go. The that's, that's cool, that's white. Oh there's a car, that's white. I thought you didn't see the car there, I was like, what were we doing? Car all of a popped up. Yeah, if we keep that down. I know technically, I think, yeah, it should really have, or should really be transported like this. It should be more like this and flat, so then in the emergency situation, off we get a hydraulic failure on the forks or something, it'll smash down and land flat on the road. Really? I should be paying attention to where I'm going. So obviously if you point it like that, that's just going to rip down and go into the ground. And damage the tarmac and then obviously we would be like, well it's paid cancel. Lose fees. Do not stop? You're really used driver says so just literally pull over just a little bit to the left. Oh what can you do sometimes? But yeah, in June now. Again there's nothing really gonna be doing this in this month as such. I may do the old contracts here and there but I think what we do is just see how the month goes. If we need money then from the left arrow, thankfully. Okay, that person's turning. That's going to make it very difficult for us. Thank God, not. Really, 
turn in that that lane. Green. Technically, you should be turning as early as possible. Not. Oh, don't you beeping at me? You're the one taking this me, but. Now we need to do is tight turn over here. You know what? We'll just pull in here. And then we just have to play lucky with the traffic. Reverse out. Do the little Uno reverso. Nope, not that. That's why one was to the indicator. Yeah, so we'll take this over to the cell point. And then. We'll see how much we keep afterwards. And there we go, that was the last bell we need for the contract. And yeah, 274 quid. Thank you very much. And we'll accept these contracts. So having a look. 78 needs to go to here and the rest needs to go to the BGA so I'm thinking we'll do 78, get that sold, go down to 31, get that done, go to 25 and then I think that is where we think we'll be standing quite nicely actually. I think not. So, let's put these bells in here now. Let's get rid of this weird strapping situation. So, what's that? Six and a half, six, twelve, eighteen, fruit six, seven, eight, nine, forty-five. So, yeah, I was just over half we've kept, so. Actually, that worked out quite well for us. No, what? Okay, we overdid 78. Dang it. Do not want to do that. But, anyways, we'll go and just mow that field quick, get that done. That shouldn't take us too long. That is another contract completed, so. So you essentially get up 78. Everything is here already. Let's get in here. But yeah, this will take us what, like two minutes to do? similar texture to the grass so if you miss bits you'll know about it. Well, the grass where it's all colour like it is now distinctive you can tell the difference between the two texture different or the texture colours should I rephrase that that's what I mean very collective under here right in the co coverts 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 Nope, uh, let's just check in because you. Actually, in fairness, it wouldn't be surprised me if Oxy actually did put some of these collectibles in these drain covers. It wouldn't surprise me at all. But yeah, so it may as well, as always, finish these contract works off. That'll take us to the best part of the afternoon. And then I've got some. Where I think we'll leave it for today. So, yeah, I'll get this all done. I'm going to spend a good hour on this. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards. And 
there we go. We are done. I would like to buy another trader similar, well, actually, the exact same one, just without the ramps. That's because we've got quite four here, so that's all of our hay and hopefully all of our silage. We do have this small trader here of 12 bells, and that should be enough to get this last contract completed. This is going to be very tight to maneuver, so I'm thinking. Come on, just get in and only what? Heck it. We'll deal with that in a minute. But let's get these bells rid, so. Hopefully, it should be enough for the contract. If not, we'll just grab a couple more bells. Sold already three bells, so okay, not quite near some more bells, that's fine. Maybe another two or three. Okay, you didn't have a hitch at the front. Yeah, I'll sort of grab some of those bells at the back. Yeah, have a look here. Complete that contract. That's eight grand. And we should get four grand from this contract here. And then the rest of the bells are ours to keep, so that is a hundred and thirty thousand litres of hay. I'll try say two bells. Should be enough. Right. Oh, no, not quite. Needs. You know what? Let's get one more bell and chuck it in. And there we go. See, so yeah, that is 1200. From the contract. So 14,000 add 100. And main purpose of doing all those contracts was mainly get these bells. So we've got 130,000 litres of hay and 77,000 litres of silage. We'll come back for that other tray later on. Now let's get us back to the farm and get us all unloaded and stored away somewhere. And there we go, so we've got the bells here, so yeah, I think you can whack them in here, store them. At least then the ones we've accidentally cut open, they can be just placed there and kept there. That's if we just get it in, so... Maybe we should put this on 650, I think. I think, you know what, let's try that a sec, so... Oh, I didn't like that. Yeah, it was a bit tight getting it attached, but... Yeah, it just seems to be a bit glitchy for some reason. Bear with me a sec. There we go, we've got 650 here. Hopefully, that makes it a bit easier for us to work with. Worst case scenario, we'll just put two, two bells in at a time. I think it's just the roof is slightly too low for us for three 150 centimeter bell so there we go 
Well, I think what we can do is just press some end. Just give it a little, t little tap push. I think something like a teleander or something would work wonders with this. Even maybe the little skid steer that we had at the start of the series. Okay. Can't push all the way back, fair enough. But we could do three in a row, so that should be fine. So yeah, let's get this quickly finished off. And then I think that's where we'll leave it for today, I think. Say this is alright. Shove it in. There we go. It's shoved in storage. But yeah, so shed wise. Maybe what we could do is store these bells actually. Rather than at the main farm, take them up the road. But then again, that's a trek in that. So yeah, it's not the biggest of treks, but it's trekky under there. So you know, just sort of bells in here. Since we've got nothing here, I think really get money for sunny sur panels. So you know what? Heck, it sell all of this. So that, so that, we'll find a better place for silage, or even heck it, we can redo this and put silage in. Oh, okay, not heck it. So that's well, and you what? Let's get some money back off that land as well. 22 grand, so we're back at quarter of a million. And we can buy this field here. If you want to, 114. What's over here? So I'm going to have a look a sec, so... Ah, it's basically this area over here, right? So you've got two fields, nah. So we would own all of this, so... Is that extra possible income for us? Greenhouse? Little storage area? Last thing, if you want to create an area for storage... Try to think where could we go in place? Sheep enclosures, one. I'm thinking. Oh, another collectible over there. Look over there and feel set whilst we have a chance. So, yeah. Because also, I want to get, you know, the little silos you can get. Yeah, there's still size you can fetch for like 10 grand or so. So we can have one for seeds, one for fertilizer, one for lime. What we need to get as well, maybe herbicide as well. Let's not drive into the campsite. Yes, we own it. 
But if he helps these holy makers. Yeah, I'm trying to figure the area. But this area would be nice. Get a little shed in here. But yeah, so you can't get rid of. Get rid of the trees, that's fine. But also, that's blocking access to. Ah, no, that's where the wall's going to be spawning as well. Forget sheep and that, so. Somewhere over here, or is it by? <laughs> yes, yeah, 55 down there, or so. Because, yeah, remember, we need also room for the combine and that. What's in this field again? Is it Canova? Oh no, didn't see that, was it? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be our sheep enclosure. Oops. A bit rough there. So that could be another 100 grand for us. Yep, so that's all the sheeps. But yeah, I'm thinking... Buy this. Because yeah, got access to the bridge, so if we get 62... Something like these, place them down. Obviously, not here. I'm thinking more at the farm. These are small enough. Or, yeah, something like those. What is 10,000 years so. though? Things like seeds, solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, and that should be fine. But lime, that's going to be the big one, though. That, or if you were using that on other series, so yeah, something like that, perhaps. You know, we could just place down just somewhere we could put our bells to and keep them. That. But then again, that takes up quite an area as well. We'll have a little think about it. Because there should be a side of that, yeah, like a hayloft. But I think there's one that could accept bales. But yeah, if we have like one here and out, I think that'd be nice, but. I'm gonna have a look and I'll sort of speak to a few people and I'll see what can we get together in place. You know, just to help us now. But, so yeah, anyways, I think that's where we're gonna leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to click down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, first you to do, Hope you're gonna stay, but for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.